I'm Roxanne Avalon, and on today's episode, we're going to be telling you why Bugatti is not as cool as it used to be, how much it's going to cost you to look cool and save the world all at the same time, and then we're also going to be shifting gears and talking about the top five fastest cars in the world. Stick around. This is Inside Cars. Well, it's official. Hennessy's Venom GT has made Bugatti its biatch. Yeah, Guinness World Records actually certified the Venom as the quickest car in the world as of now. Now, the Venom GT sprinted to 300 kilometers per hour in just 13.6 seconds. I don't really know how far a kilometer is, but that seems really fast to me. It also won out in a 200 mile per hour sprint, which it did in just 14.5 seconds, which is actually two seconds faster than the previous record holder, Koenigsegg. 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 Koenigsegg? Now, this car is basically a mix of all other awesome cars, making it like the most badass car out there right now. It's a million dollar supercar that they've based off a Lotus, and they also installed a twin turbo Corvette engine. Yeah, it's like the best of all worlds going on right now. Now this bad boy actually puts out 1,200 horsepower, and Hennessy claims that it can reach up to 270 miles per hour, so I guess we can all say bye bye Bugatti. Moving on, we got some good news for all you filthy rich do-gooders out there. Porsche's price for its brand new supercar just hit the web and it doesn't look good, at least for us commoners. The 918 Spider is going to start out at $845,000. No, that's not a typo. There really is that many zeros in the price, making it the most expensive Porsche ever. Ever, ever? Forever, ever? Yeah, ever. Now, in case you guys aren't familiar with the 918, it's a hybrid powered convertible that Porsche debuted in Geneva about three years ago. And a year later, they even debuted a racing model, showing just how serious Porsche is about this car. All right, here are some stats for this insane car. It's got 580 horsepower, 202 miles per hour, And check this out, 78 miles per gallon. Boom, take that Prius. So contrary to what I said about not being able to look cool and save the earth, yeah, I guess you can, but it is going to cost you a hefty price tag. I mean, just take a moment to process how much this car actually costs. You could buy the base model of every single Porsche out there and spend less than half of what this car costs. Yeah, that is ridiculous. So ask yourselves, my friends, how much is the Earth's health worth to you? Now we're gonna be talking about some not so awesome hybrids, but hybrids nonetheless. And if you think that making a hybrid is the most exciting thing ever, then you need to learn what excitement is. Takeshi Uchiyamada, the man behind the Prius, is going to be leading Toyota. Now Takeshi has been promoted to chairman of Toyota and is super excited because they're actually going to be crossing over into an entirely hybrid brand. Yay! All right, give us a break. It was kind of a slow day in car news today. All right, it's time to shift gears. Now, we talked about quick cars breaking records, but which cars are actually the fastest? Well, on today's segment of Shifting Gears, we're going to be showing you the top five fastest factory cars. That's me shifting gears into this next segment that I'm going to do right now. Okay. All right, coming in at number five is the Koenigsegg CCX. Oh my God, I said it right. Ah. Anyway, this Swedish supercar is anywhere between five and six hundred thousand, which is a steal. Wait, that can't be right. A steal? Five? No? Okay. It's a featherweight at under 3,000 pounds with a top speed of 245 miles per hour. You go, Koenigsegg. Coming in at number four is the SSC Ultimate Arrow. Not only is this car terribly named, but it's terribly overdone. It looks like a kit car. Now this car used to hold the world record, but now it's 257 miles per hour are so passe, OMG. Coming in at number three, because the writers of this show hate me, is of course another Koenigsegg. Yeah, the Agera R. Now, this bad boy has a twin turbo V8, which puts out more than a thousand horsepower, which pushes this $1.6 million car to 260 miles per hour, which is fast, but not quite fast enough to top the list. Maybe next time, Kunzgg. 
And in second place is, of course, Hennessy's Venom GT, which we just talked about. Now, I'm sure if Hennessy ever saw this episode, they'd be pissed that they weren't number one because according to them, this car can break the sound barrier. <laughs> Aren't we fancy? But as far as we know, the top speed is over 260, which means you number two. And coming in at number one, is Bugatti. Venom may have beat you out as far as acceleration goes, but when it comes to top speed, it is still number one with its Veyron SS. Now the Veyron actually set the record for top speed at 267 miles per hour, and hey, it's only gonna cost you 2.4 million, right? Psh, what a steal. Now it's that time, yep, time for our distracted driver of the day. Now we usually show people in their cars doing stupid stuff while they drive, but today we're gonna take a look at why so many people are distracted. It's probably because there are tutorials out there on YouTube showing people how to apply makeup while driving. Okay, kinda did okay with that one. Let's get the other side. Remember, you can touch it up when you get to work. Now, your bottom ones are the hard ones. Those are always the worst. I hate the bottom. I did kinda like move it back and forth. But anyway, okay, you really want to look at the road because I almost hit an oncoming car. So anyway, you just want to kind of put that on your crease. Yeah, this is seriously a thing now. I may or may not have taken one of the tutorials and used it, but hey, that's not what we're talking about here. Seriously, this is dangerous, people. This is why I put my life on the line every time I go out onto the 405. Thank you guys so much for joining us on another episode. Make sure you like our video, subscribe to our channel, and of course, leave me some little comments down below. I'm Roxanne Avalon, and I'll see you next time on Inside Cars.